A highly anticipated U.S. Supreme Court case set for oral arguments next week has legal experts sounding the alarm on its implications for every state, perhaps most especially including Wisconsin. The high court takes up a case originating out of North Carolina, where that state's high court struck down Republican-drawn congressional maps, calling them an egregious partisan gerrymander. Republicans there then appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court, arguing state legislatures have sole authority to set rules for elections, including voting maps, election rules, and outcomes. Former Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice Janine Geske joined in a brief calling on the high court to reject this independent state legislature theory. She joins us now. Thanks very much for being here. My pleasure. So why are you sounding the alarm on this? Well, I think, first, I think it's, it's under radar that for people to understand the court is considering the fact that there'll be no state court review of any actions by legislatures for on congressional races. So how the election rules are set, how people vote, how they're counted, and ultimately how the, the lines are drawn will not be reviewable by state courts. Um, you know, and that's pretty unique. So that the, the governor has no veto power over it, and the courts have no um, reviewable reviewability. So I. You know, I think it's really important that really taking away the voice of the people through the independent judiciary and having legislatures um, make the final call on this. I mean, in North Carolina, the court held that it violated that what the legislature had done had violated the North Carolina Constitution. And, you know, the U.S. Supreme Court is being asked to throw that out and say it's not up to North Carolina courts to decide that. So in the case of Wisconsin, should that uh, come to pass, that the high court agreed with the North Carolina Republicans, uh, Wisconsin's outsized Republican majority legislature certainly could throw its rate, weight around, uh, but would it in your mind? I think it would. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the Republican-led legislature has been um, doing a lot of work on elections and changing voting rules and you know, but but fortunately, there's always that reviewability at the court, <laughs> and and in some cases, even though you know we have a court that's divided, some cases have have reversed some of the things the legislature has done, and some have have affirmed it. But not to have that reviewability would give the more power to the legislature, and I have no doubt that they would take it. So this theory, which you say is pushed by extreme partisans seems is exactly what was at play when Republican false electors in Wisconsin tried to toss out Biden's slate for Trump electors. Where do you think the U.S. Supreme Court will go with this? Well, it's interesting. I, there are at least four justices, the more conservative ones, that have sort of voiced an interest in this theory. Um, and John Roberts has as well. I don't think John Roberts will do something to take power away from the state courts. I, that's just my sense. He is, he feels very strongly about the importance of the judiciary, the independence of the judiciary. And actually there is an amicus brief representing all the chief justices from all 50 states asking the court not to adopt this, this legislative theory. Um, and I have a, I mean, it's just sort of a gut feeling from watching John Roberts that he won't go along with it, in which case they wouldn't have enough votes. Okay. But we'll see with argument next week. Yeah, because what will you be listening for from justices in that Well, actually, John, John Roberts, I, you know, the kinds of questions he's going to be asking. I mean, I think the conservative ones have indicated they, they are doing a very narrow and not very popular reading of the U.S. Constitution in terms of control of elections. And they've written on that in the past. Um, I, I can't imagine anybody else um, who, you know, the more moderate or liberal or whatever you want to call them, justices would go that way. And I really think it's up to John Roberts to make the call. And uh, so I'll be real interested in what he's asking them, um, in particular what he's asking the, the Republicans who have brought this suit about taking away the power of the state courts. In the end, how in your mind would giving legislatures sole authority over elections thwart the will of the people? Well, it would take the, you know, the 
in our state, we elect an independent judiciary to be a check and balance on our governor and on, on the legislature. It would take that check and balance away. And the only attack would be through a federal court if a federal court would take it. So it really does take that independent review by the state, consistent with the state constitution, of whether this was a lawful um, gerrymandered or whether it's a lawful rule. And I think that's, we've seen how important that is over the last several elections where people are arguing about whether elections are valid or invalid and how you count votes and things. And I think not to have reviewability in the state is very dangerous. Former Supreme Court Justice, State of Wisconsin, Janine Gaskey, thanks very much. You're welcome.